Hi all, this is Tim Olson. In this demonstration, we're going to use PowerPack Simplify Profile to convert a bunch of line segments into a smooth spline that then can be swept into an upper surface of a wing body. First thing we'll do is isolate the line segments that we want to convert. And I will box select the area of interest and then right click on top of the spline and do a show only. And then we'll hide other lines. And let's zoom up and hide this line. And then we're going to zoom into the right side view uh, to inspect what we have. And it looks like we have a, a symmetrical aerofoil where we have a line segment going through the cord. So we're going to go to our break segment location and we're going to break this at the cord. Now we're going to go through and turn off everything below that point. Again, we're just doing this so that we can grab those upper surface. Let's zoom in at the trailing edge. And again, we're going to select and hide these lines. Okay, that looks like I can grab them now. Let's hide the cord. And we're going to go to Power Pack, Modify, Simplify Profile. We'll use our default tolerance, and we're going to simplify just to splines. And I'm going to very carefully just select the upper lines representing the upper surface of our airfoil. And we went ahead and grabbed 130 lines and we converted that into one spline with a deviation of 0 0.018, which is within our specified tolerance. Let's also uh, just grab our spline and show points just so we can visually inspect it as well. Uh, let's zoom in in the front. Since this is a symmetrical airfoil, I'm going to go ahead and modify the slope at the start to be a vertical slope. And I'll create a construction line, then go to the Translate tool, and we're going to move the slope so it is, it's vertical. Now I'm going to turn everything on and jump into an isometric view. And what we like to do is sweep, do a two-rail sweep between that upper profile curve and the leading and trailing edge. The leading edge stops where it starts to curve in. The trailing edge goes all the way back. So I'm going to go to the segment and location tool and we're just going to segment this trailing edge at this break location. And now we can go to the sweep tool, the two row sweep, and we will grab our spline and our two rails and sweep our surface. Let's uh, do a quick inspection with the Verify Zebra Plot on it and see what the type of surface that we have. 